In today's video, we are making Hausa cocoa flour recipe. But before we start, let's take a minute to acknowledge our very own sister, Nana Best Kitchen. She's the one, I mean, the brain behind this, and we are being inspired to do it by her. I'm Yemi Cash, and you're welcome to this channel. To start with, in a bowl, pour in your millet and wash your millet three to four times or till the last water runs very clear. Hello Yami, welcome to this channel. My name is Yami Cash and on this channel we are into food recipes. So kindly go through most of the videos and if it interests you, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell icon. Now when you are done washing it, strain the water from it and set it aside. Now that the millet is washed and clean and you set it aside, Wash also your ginger and make sure you wash it very, very well. There are, there comes some gingers which are very, very dirty. So make sure you wash the ginger very well. And also, if you don't want the skin of the ginger, you can go ahead and peel everything and then add it to your millet. So the next thing is to add your pepper and dried pepper is also good to use. But I don't have dried pepper, I used fresh pepper. Now that spices, I'm using alligator spices, grains of psyllium, cloves, and then fennel seed also. But aniseed seed also goes very well. The next thing to add is your corn dough. So um, I, I deleted part of this video where I mistakenly added cassava dough to the millet <laughs> i have to wash it again and then you know all the spices i blended the spices beginning and then added it added the cassava mistakenly added the cassava dough and then have to wash everything now when you are done with everything add it to your blender and blend very well now my blender was not good i i used ninja blender thousand two watts or so but Trust me, I regret buying that blender. <laughs> I don't know why there are good reviews about this very particular blender. But to me, it's a no-no. Thumbs down. So I added it to a food processor and then add little water to it to blend very well. It did not blend very well, but if your blender is like mine and it's not blending well, don't worry. Just when you're done um, blending everything, pour it on a tray, any tray, any flat tray at all that you have. Just pour it in and then spread evenly. When you are done, just put it under the sun and as time goes on, keep checking on it. And for me, I kept checking on it and also I fluff it. You understand? fluffing it i realized it was not all that dry so i left it again for additional three days and after the three days it was perfect for the next blending <music> it back into the blender again and then blend it again hi yummy if you're not subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future upload after closing it i blend it again now as i told you um previously the blender 
that's not good i mean to my liking it's not good i have to keep slapping the blender here and there <laughs> to blend warm so uh, for the benefits of this video not being too long i blended this three times after blending this i poured it on a tray again and you know put it under the sun for it to dry for three days an additional three days after the three days i brought it back in and then used the coffee blender that is the blender for using um for blending sorry dried ingredients you understand for dry, uh, blending spices and so on and so forth uh-huh so that is what i used in blending for the third time but if you're in Ghana and you don't have all this blender, you can go to the mill for them to, you know, blend everything for you. And it's way easier and, you know, less stressful. Now to the preparation. Just add any amount you, you want in a bowl and then pour in um, water. You mix the flour very well, you know, so everything is well mixed. <music> saucepan the working saucepan that you will be using just spread on it a cheesecloth and then i am strain the mixture i am straining mine because as i told you earlier on all my blenders aren't all that good so i still had some chaffs left behind however nanaba did not strain her own because she used a good blender and i'm going to leave her link a link i mean her link in the description so that you can also go and watch how she did her own without blender and how she prepared her own so you can see the child that is left behind too much now set your fire on a low medium heat and start stirring it you need to stir it continuously if not, you will get lumps in your um, cocoa. So what I'm adding is pepper, dried, um, what do we call powdered pepper. It is optional, please. I wanted my very sharp, I mean very hot. <laughs> so I stirred it so you see it's, it will start thickening. And when it thickens, you leave it for additional two minutes and then voila your cocoa is ready and it's so easy to make okay yummy we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for staying with me to the end of the video kindly hit the subscribe button and also share with family and friends because someone needs it till i meet you again always remember to do everything in love Juice. yummy cash